Welcome again. Today we look at the difference between these two terms, amphoteric and amphiprotic. Notice that they both begin with the prefix amph, which means having a bit of both. And an amphoteric substance is one that's able to behave both as an acid or as a base. But bear in mind that acids and bases are defined in two general ways, as Lewis acids, which are electron pair acceptors, Lewis bases, which donate electron pairs, or as bronsted lowry acids and bases, where, according to this theory, an acid is a proton donor, and a base can accept a hydrogen ion, a proton acceptor. So given these two definitions, we can say that once a substance is amphiprotic, it behaves as both an acid and a base. Take, for example, water, which is able to accept a proton or a hydrogen ion, or it can donate a proton to form a hydroxyl ion and an H+, behaving both as a proton acceptor or as a proton donor, in accordance with the bronsted lowry definition. Similarly, amino acids, like this general amino acid here, can accept a proton here, with its nitrogen, or it can donate a proton here from this OH. So this makes water and an amino acid amphiprotic substances able to behave as proton donors or proton acceptors. And in so doing, they behave as acids or bases by donating protons or accepting protons. They are specifically amphiprotic because they can either donate or accept. But more generally, they are amphoteric because they behave as acids or as bases. But a substance that behaves as an acid and as a base, an amphoteric substance, is not necessarily amphiprotic. But once a substance is amphiprotic, it's bound to be amphoteric. Take an example of aluminum oxide. Here, when it's reacted with hydrochloric acid, it can behave as a bronsted lowry base, and it can accept the hydrogen from hydrochloric acid, forming aluminum chloride and water. But when aluminum oxide reacts with sodium hydroxide, it forms sodium tetrahydroxyaluminate, not because it donates a proton, as a bronsted lowry acid would, but instead, it behaves as a Lewis acid, accepting an electron pair and forming the complex sodium tetrahydroxy aluminate. So here you can see that aluminum oxide, which behaves as both an acid and a base, is amphoteric, but not amphiprotic.